This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. This show is brought to you by Slice on Broadway. Supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza, sliceonbroadway.com. And listeners like you, support this show at patreon.com slash awesomecast. Sidekick Media Services. We are your sidekick in business for social media, video production, and more. Find out more at sidekickmediaservices.com. Hey guys, it's time to get geeky, get awesome. It is the awesome cast. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on Twitter here in the Sorgatron Media Studios in Pittsburgh, PA. Staying safe, staying distance uh, as well. Uh, but uh, this is the show. We got we got a whole crew with us here uh, tonight. Mom, Mom Sorg's in the chat room. Dave Potter's in the chat room. Everybody's hanging out in the chat rooms for us here live. But of course, with us, first of all, uh, back on the show from Big Bank International Esquire, it is John Chichilla. How's it going, sir? With all of his K's from the big, uh, the big D Dormont. Uh, thank you for joining oh, us again. K's? Oh, your K's. Yeah, I don't know. Strikeouts. You're the one. No, you're the one with the four K. Oh, baseball's a thing again, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right. That that's a that, that's a thing that exists again. But that that's unless you're unless you're what the Florida Marlins. Unless you're the Florida Marlins, because because uh they all got covid they all got covid (laughs) they like you don't don't share that bottle of whiskey guys you'll share the covid um i don't know what they do what do baseball people do chew they are they passing the chew is that how baseball works i don't know big the big league chew the big league chew exactly also back with us from her hiatus on uh uh animal crossing dutter's island uh the Dutters is back with us. How you do? You're she's playing right now. <laughs> what podcast? <laughs> what? <laughs> How you doing, Katie? Good. How's it going? Excellent, excellent. You're you're sharing your fun tests and in, in how they were they were making sure you don't glow. <laughs> yes. Yes. Less glowing the better. Less glowing the better. Uh sporting that sweet shirt, that sweet cancer suck shirt. With, yeah, we can talk you, about that later. You, you have a shirt Ooh. with yourself on it. That's so cool. I know. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Also back with us, Ron Krause is with us. Also with Big Bank International, Esquire. Hey, are you saying baseball spits? Baseball spits? There is a lot of spitting. That did they yeah, ban you know spitting in baseball? That could be why. Stop spitting on each other, baseball. Is that yeah. how it works? Sure. I don't know. Something like that. Listen, my only everything I know, I remember about baseball is based in RBI baseball for the Nintendo. That's just it. That's that's all. <laughs> that's as far as I went. <laughs> that's as far as you go back. That's as far you, as I go no back. Little league in your life? No, no, uh, no, no little, no little league in my life. I mean, it's been a while since Ian's team, and I've just forgotten everything. I don't know if those were real rules that we used. Um, but. <laughs> But guys, it is the Awesome Cast. Check us out at awesomecast.com. Uh, you can also subscribe to the Awesome Cast on awesome, uh, on awesome podcast providers like uh, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Stitcher, Spreaker, iHeartRadio, and of course, video versions on the Facebook and the YouTube page. Of course, we are live every Tuesday at 7 p.m. Eastern Time on Facebook Live, on Twitter, on youtube on the sorgatron media twitch page so you can join us in any of those spots of course of course a lot of the chat chat that we uh are paying a lot of attention to does happen over on the facebook uh stream so please join us over there and and and, and if you are watching live or watching later especially if you're watching live please hit a share hit a like uh, uh share this retweet it whatever the case may be to ha- help uh hop uh, a bunch more people into this uh, awesome party that we're having right now. Uh, thank you to our audio partners at the media.com that have been streaming us and our friends that share some great podcasts in the Pittsburgh area, postindustrial.com, also doing some great coverage about all the craziness happening, especially up here in the Rust Belt. And th- thank you to our Patreon supporters at patreon.com slash awesomecast, including our friends at the Coffee Club, Matt Weller, John DeGore, and John Carmen, and our friends at the fan of the show level, Michael Fedor, pghmuseums.org, Professor Buzzkill, Please go check out his podcast at professorbuskill.com and Dave Podner of the Tiny Shutter Podcast. Thank you, everybody, 
for joining us here, uh, for supporting the, the show. And uh, and you guys can support the show, too, at patreon.com slash awesomecast. Everything's been going super strong on our Patreon side, uh, even with everything going on. And it actually has been at heights, uh, 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 you know, better than uh, beforehand. So it's 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 one where area where the the coronavirus era has been kind of kind to us. So so thank you and thank you. That's because of you guys out there. Uh, thanks for supporting the show. So let's get into our awesome things of the week. And since she was showing it off a little bit already, Animal Crossing has some celebrations coming up, right, Katie? Yeah. Uh, so we're getting another update on July thirtieth, which I'm excited about because fireworks. My niece called me and she was like, fireworks, <laughs> with her face as close to the camera as possible on mm-hmm. her mom's iPhone. Fireworks. <laughs> so you're going to be able to get some fireworks on the island, which is super exciting. You'll be on Sunday nights in August. And you can also buy little like glow doodle bobbers for your head. So you hang out with your friends and wear your little glow doodle bobbers and watch the fireworks together. And you're also there. You're able to back up your island periodically now. So mm. if something bad happens to your island not saying that that's ever happened to me but if something (laughs) you mean you mean mean like a niece going and and wreaking havoc (laughs) on your island yes then you can go back and uh, go to your essentially your previous safe and uh, your island will be back to normal and this is nice especially if like something would happen where your you know switch would crash or you lost your switch or something happened with that Mm -hmm. and you can also visit what's called dream islands which you can go to islands across the world and you don't actually, the biggest difference is you get to check out somebody else's island um, that you might not know this person, but you also can't do any damage while you're on that island. (laughs) So people are going to be more likely to invite people and give them their dream codes to come check out what you're doing. Okay. Versus like, you you can do some damage to somebody else's island if you really wanted to, (laughs) but this way nothing is, actually saved it's kind of just you getting to go and check out what they're doing on their island get some ideas which so, is fun so how is that is it, is it kind of like is it serving good islands to you like kind of algorithmically or are, are you like how how does that it, seem to probably it process it really doesn't say right it, right now like there's not a lot of info yet at least not that i've found out yet um but there is a dream code for your island which is different than your dodo code a dodo code invites anybody with that code to your island to come visit a dream code is where they can come visit but it won't be saved mm-hmm. and they're th- they can't do any damage to your island so i'm not sure if it's going to be something uh where you're going to have to seek out other folks's dream codes because if you google anything on animal crossing you can find codes for things for different clothing island items that somebody has created or you know flooring and wallpaper and all that good stuff so i think it's it's i'm not sure i'm not sure how they're going to do that yet and i'm hoping that they're able to more give you options to go visit like here are the people that have agreed to it you might like their stuff yeah good featured islands or something like that maybe right if nothing else if, if there isn't there'll be i'm sure some sort of directory <laughs> as we found for so many things with Animal Crossing. Mm-hmm. So, hey Katie, I don't, I don't know if I'd be too excited about fireworks because I don't know about where you live, but where I live for about a month before <laughs> fireworks day, all I hear every night of the week is fireworks. So, depending on what neighborhood your <laughs> island is in, that might be a bad thing. I'm yeah. just saying. Yeah. Every That's day's true. fireworks day. Yeah, pretty much. Around here. Rock, yes. Yes, mm. it is. And Dormont's not much different. Nope. Same here. Same here in Beachview. Same in my hood. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and the other big exciting thing that's coming with the update, well, it was a teaser. It was more of a teaser at the end for the fall update. There's a jack-o'-lantern. <gasps> so, so we might be able to decorate for Halloween, Man. which I'm excited about. <laughs> you Will you collect the jack-o'-lanterns like turnips or... I'm willing to bet it's probably going to be more recipes. Like they're doing something now with different recipes and uh, pearls in the water. Since now, you, since you can dive now and make the mermaid and pirate furniture. I haven't seen the pirate stuff yet, but the mermaid stuff right now. Uh, but I think it's probably going to be the same thing. They'll just have fall recipes that require certain things that'll just suddenly pop up on your island. Mm. <laughs> you can make jack-o'-lanterns and all that good stuff. I like it. I like it. I miss all this for Pokemon. Yeah, I miss being able to go places and play Pokemon. Uh, so and, and Pikachu in his little Santa hat. Yes, I was like, well, I, I get Pikachu's with hats, so here we go. You know, um, I still never got rid of them. I just can't get rid of the ones with the hats. I don't care no. what season it is. 
Uh, so, and some of them I've evolved, and that's about it. So just like half of my, like, like, like way too much of my Poke- Pokemon collection is just Pikachus with various <laughs> hats or glasses or whatever the heck they had. So, that's a shame. Nothing wrong. It's a shame. All right. So, uh, let's, uh, 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 Kraus, you know, I, it's so, it's still so weird to me to see Ron with iOS. I know, News. I know. I'm not used to this. Yeah, it, it, you'll get used to it. it. But don't forget, right over here, I still do have my Android device. I know you're completely double device. fisting it. That's fine. So, That's fine. What, we're, no more Windows phone? I figured you were holding, uh, uh, holding on to I that. Can do that. I can pull one of those out, too, here. There you go. There you uh, go. But uh, it's got dust on it. But uh, <laughs> seriously, the iOS iOS 14, I don't know about you guys, but one of the things that annoyed me the most is when you know you have an application, mm-hmm. but you can't find it. And I know you can swipe over and start typing and find it in search. Yeah, Spotlight. It's a dream. All apps. It's there. All apps in iOS 14. So it's coming. A better world is coming. A I better promise. world. <laughs> So so yeah. it's it's so it's funny. So where do you even get to all apps? Because so you swipe right. How many right times? Right to oh, left, you... and you get the the those squares, John. Ah, so you... I got a lot of swiping to do to get that far. And then pull down. <laughs> oh, see, I only have one list. Yeah, I only have one page of apps. But so so this is of course you guys are on the this is the public beta or are you in yes. the beta beta? You're well. It's public now, so we can talk about it. Oh, but okay, okay. I'm, but we're in the beta. I was in the beta, 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 beta. Okay, yeah. uh, show the people in the video again what happened. So this is the all apps. Is that a categorized okay. kind of situation? So, here, yeah. So here, bring is... it over, over your way. There you go. There okay, you go. so there's my home screen. Yeah. You, know, you swipe. There's... Oh, that was Gmail. You swipe that way, and you get this. Like grouping of apps, and those are like it, those are categorized by like how they're categorized in yeah, the in the like in the store. Suggested apps, recent apps, social, entertainment, that kind of stuff. Okay, but then if you just pull down, you get a list of all the apps. Alphabetical, alphabetical, which is and it, really it's not existed. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. So my and Android's okay. had that for years and years. Mm-hmm. Not that I'm not saying. Apple copied or anything. So I'm not doing <laughs> that. I'm not being that guy. No. I'm just saying I'm happy to have it. That's good. That's but good. But they did copy, but I, it, I can't I, I can't say it's the most exciting thing that's coming to iOS, but no. Plus being able to set your browser, but they haven't done that, actually actually turned that on yet, but it's something they promised. Good. When and the developers have to build that into their into their apps, mm-hmm. yeah. Into their app. So, so the new way to organize now, I did hear, you know, some, uh, one of the podcasts I was listening to is on one of these betas and it kind of destroyed all of their, um, organization for like the folders they already had, I guess. Um, I oh, it, I, it hasn't, ki- it didn't oh, kill mine, any of mine. mine stayed. It's a glitch. It, it was a glitch that something happened with his, but, um, uh, okay. but that's okay. Cause mine are just like, I, I don't even, I'm just throwing stuff in folders right now just to get it out of the way. <laughs> I'm just like, I'll, so, oh, I'll search for it. If I have to uninstall like many of the things on my phone, I'm never finding it until this update comes, probably. You know, I bought my wife the big uh, 10S, I think it was, and it was the hugest mistake because she does, she just installs everything. Mm. And then try, there are pages of icons. And I'm like, yeah. honey, you know, you can stack these. But if I stack them, I won't be able to find them. <laughs> Don't look at my iPad. I've given up on my iPad a while ago. <laughs> yeah, okay. Wait, it- Good. It drives people nuts. So my home bar down at the bottom of the screen is, and pay no attention to my unread emails, but like I have, <laughs> I've replaced oh the God. home bar with just folders, folders. of yep. yeah. my most yep. used apps. So no matter which page I'm on, I for, can always for, that. for 40 of your most used apps. <laughs> Got it. Got it. So so here's my favorite part. Or, or were, were you done with the, the yeah, iOS? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you, if you use the home app that has all your home kit stuff in it yeah now if you and i don't know if i'm gonna be able to do this right if you swipe down hmm? yeah, that's the right screen you can see there Whoa. it actually has a home oh. button that takes you in directly into the home app 
but then off to the right, it's using like Siri AI to look at your most used HomeKit stuff. So my light switch would be right there for my living room. You, like your the light switches you would use most most often, or, or what it thinks you need right now. That's tremendous. Is is right there from the swipe down. So that's that's been my that. favorite thing because like we have. It, it, it's it's magic because like at night like our bedroom lamp just shows up there because it knows that like based on so time of day and location yeah nice. yeah so it's uh, it's pretty pretty cool katie i don't know how organized you are with your iphone situation are you looking forward to some of these uh updates <laughs> <laughs> i'm laughing because i was so i play this game word chums with my friend and i forgot about the game with everything that happened with everything i forgot about we were playing a game and i was like oh darn i need to set up another game and i had no idea where this was where it was and then i and i ended up having to spotlight it to find the game and i didn't realize i had two different folders called games so <laughs> <laughs> and one had a majority of the games mm -hmm. and one had three games and i was like oh that's what happened there <laughs> so yes i'm looking forward to any more that any more that helps me find more of my apps without because you do you lose <laughs> so it's, kind of, it's kind of a save me from myself situation isn't it yes uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> so no yeah no i'm looking forward to that it, the kind of kind of restart some of that organization because some of the or, some of the bad habits of organization you know especially like you're traveling you gotta throw the hertz app on there and and then you throw that away for half of the year right um until it comes around or you know depending on what your, what your situation is um I'm, I'm looking for just that reset without actually resetting my phone you know <laughs> uh in the long run so i have a story on that mm -hmm. so um we had a transformer outside of our house half of it died i don't know if you've ever experienced this before but I, one day i thought i was losing my mind half of my house had power and the other half of my house did not. What? Well, yes. I've never seen I, yeah, no. I've never heard of that. A dude, I was going crazy. Uh, we were sitting in the backyard. You know, we have a little blow up pole and, you know, and then the fountain and stuff in the backyard and the radio's going. And all of a sudden it all turns off. Like, dang, I must have tripped the breaker. I run downstairs and there, there's air conditioners on in the house. And I'm like, yeah, it's got to be a breaker. I run down the basement. Not a single breaker is tripped. I start wandering around my house, flipping light switches. Half of them work and half of them don't. So we lost one phase of, you know, there's 220 line that comes into your house. Hmm. Well, half of it is 110 and the other half is 110. That's what makes 220. We lost half of it. Huh. it's. But so a half of my smart lights died. And I'm on now this iPhone, and guess what was not installed? The smart light controller. <laughs> so then I had, which light is it, which brand is it, and which app controls it? Oh, no. So, so, I, so you, and they start strobing, you know, because they've been turned off for so long, mm -hmm. or the power bounced a couple times, which reset it. So it's doing that. And my wife's like, oh, my God, I'm going to be sick because, you know, the flights are just <laughs> strobing. Because you're like, da you got a dance party going on your entire house at this point, right? Yeah, exactly. And I'm like, I swear I'm working on it. I just got to remember which app is for which bulb. Mm -hmm. And, oh, uh, yeah, it, it was fun. So I had that same problem. But now, I have all the apps on here. So awesome. So um, uh, another house. Hey, I'm getting a little bit of breathing off you. I think Kraus. So maybe just a little adjustment on the on the microphone. Uh, but uh, <laughs> so I I I I have two apps for my awesome things, and this is kind of over over time. So so I got two I got two problems, life problems that I've had. One, um, I I've, I've been battling with the vegetation coming from the empty lot. Uh, you know, just kind of battling it back. It was an empty lot. We ended up purchasing it, so we're going to start clearing it here uh, when it's not 90 degrees. And uh, an issue that I developed over the years was um, being exposed to poison ivy, and it started becoming a medical issue. So anytime there's something growing over, I'd be afraid to actually, and I can't spot, eyeball spot poison ivy, poison oak, uh, uh, you know, just off the cuff. So I was like, well, wait a minute. So one day I'm sitting there. And uh, I, I look up an app because I'm like, I, there has to be something by now that will like actually identify leaves 
because I remember the Leaf Project. I remember that book. Somebody's done something with this by now, right? We have face detection. Leaf should be easy. So, so for the first of two apps I'm going to recommend this week is actually uh, Plant Plant Snap Plant Identification. There's ads in it. I think there's a subscription. I don't care. All I want to know is 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 this is this a plant that's trying to kill me? That's the that's what I'm trying to solve right now. Okay, is this poison X? No, good. I can touch it. I can be. I can cut it. I can. I can take care of it. Right. Uh, and it does the job. It lets me know what the stuff is. It, it lets me know. Um, and I've been very disappointing because there's things I haven't touched for a while. I was like, oh, that's just a beech tree. I can. T- I can cut that down. That's fine. So it's it's kind of opened up my yard to me again. <laughs> so I I found myself with a similar issue. Because I was uh, uh one week ago, I was grabbing the shit at the trash after after the podcast day, and this giant bug falls off of it, and I'm looking at this thing, and it's like it's pretty big, it's a pretty big bug, and I'm like I'm looking at the the, the wings on the back of it, and I'm just like, is that a damn cockroach? Right? It was like like that that has a lot of the characteristics, but I don't think I've seen one in person. So I found I was same thing with the with the leaves. I was like, is there something that identifies just insects, right? And this is an ongoing problem as well because um, I'm told to kill spiders and we are trying to figure out if they're ones that if they bite us, it'll be a problem. And now I can do that. So I found another app and it's it's not it's not impressive of an app. It's It's got huge, ugly ads on it and everything, but it's literally just called insect identification. <laughs> That's it. And it's got a a, a a a ladybug on the cover, uh, on the uh, app for it. Once again, took a picture of this thing and said, "No, it was some kind of beetle, some kind of crazy beetle that happened to be on the trash." So don't worry, you don't have cockroaches. Uh, so, uh, so, so that that's my awesome things is the fact that like like you can identify things like this if you're out in nature. Uh, uh, want to know what a bug is? Want to know what it, what the, the the stuff in your yard is? You know, uh, you can use it insect identification and plant snap uh, apps. And this is iOS, of course, just because that's what I have. I would imagine there's equivalents of these somewhere on um, on Android phones as well. So um, I don't know. Have you guys ever played with any of these or had any need to um, um, identify <laughs> insects and, 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 and plants out there? No, but I wish I had this in high school because my biology class in high school, you had to aden- you had to find and identify a hundred different leaves, and you were only yep. allowed to use Whoa. like a maximum of two evergreens. Yeah, yeah, they're easier to to figure out. I remember that. But yeah, yeah, but like this would have been super helpful twenty years twenty some years ago. He had a book. He had a book of leaves. I remember the book of leaves. A book of mm-hmm. book of leaves, book of book of birds, book of animals that that you would for your bird watching, I guess. Uh so uh yeah, yeah, I, I remember those. Oh also from the chat room it seems um question you answers is this pot? Uh is this radioactive? <laughs> Will you get superpowers? There you go. <laughs> so I was wondering if it could identify the uh, radioactive spiders. Yeah, exactly. So, but those are helpful. They're free. They're ad supported. You know, things like that. But they'll get the job done. If you're, I, I'm, I'm sure there's better stuff. If you're a full on plantophile, insectophile, naturophile, uh, um, kind of idea like that. So, I just want it so like if I take a picture of a bug, and instead of giving me all the information, it just pops up like run. <laughs> That's kind of what I want too. I'm just like, yeah. It, it, the, the, the will this kill me? Can I just get a will this kill me app? Right. Hey, hey, dummy! Don't try to take a picture with it. Just go. <laughs> yeah, that's what we need. Um, let's see, Chilla. What is your awesome thing? What is my awesome thing? So Amazon debuted an announcement to their Amazon Alexa app, Mm -hmm. where they're actually redesigning the app for iPhone and Android. Um, I think the article I posted just talked about iPhone, but it's gonna be for Android too. And it's going to use a personalized home screen. So the things that you use most out of the Alexa app, and Ron, I don't, this may actually help you depending on how you have your home home stuff set up. Um, Because I would say 99% of my things show up in Alexa. 
Um, and then also give me a link to, you know, the parent company, uh, the, the Apple Home app does that as well. But from an Alexa perspective, oh, she's, she now thinks I'm trying to talk to her. Hold on. Alexa, stop listening. <laughs> um, so I said I said her name way too many times not to set her off. Mm -hmm. um, but <clears throat> I go in a lot of times to look to either add skills or to primarily use my smart devices. So it would be neat to see those pop up to the top. I'm also wondering, would this get me using other pieces of the service like shopping list or anything like that? So. I like the idea that the things you're going to use most are going to kind of levitate the top. Um, it may kind of limit some people in their findability. You may never notice certain things, but hopefully they'll. Ring's done a really good job to me of kind of circling new features or features I may not be aware of kind of towards the bottom of their, their front page. So uh, I'm looking forward to this one. And I think it's rolling out over the next couple months. This is probably due for a refresh because I think they've been at it for a while with that app, right? So um, no, that should be should be handy. Uh, <laughs> so uh, I I don't really get much use of the app itself until I'm setting anything up. So uh, you know, do you find yourself kind of using it on a regular basis for interfacing with your stuff? I do because I find myself going in there when I'm if I'm not in the home app already like I, if it's the first app i see i'll go in there to control a device um also my fire is controlled via there <laughs> i have some more um i've done some more complex routines because if you have two um fire tv devices and you want to use the voice activation stuff you have to kind of set up routines yeah. with custom you can't just say, hey, mm -hmm, turn mm -hmm. on the TV um, because then it doesn't know which TV to turn on or it just turns on the first one you set up. So I go in there a lot of times to tweak routines or to build new routines or to just control my devices in general. So uh, a couple of updates while um, <laughs> a couple of updates from from uh, the last story. First of all, my mom sent me a message of this. It's the exact bird book that I was thinking about, <laughs> uh, and and I remember and I remember that I remember my parents would have like like all these. They're the uh, a golden guide to birds. It's the blue bird book. It was a dollar ninety nine in probably uh, nineteen eighty three dollars. I had it. I had it. You had it, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, I, my, it's still at my mom's house. <laughs> it, it, it seems like everybody from that era had these books uh, for some reason. Uh, on top of that, I was also asked in the chat room, um, also by by my mother, uh, is there an app to identify snakes? And would you know it, there is. Uh, so it's called Snake Snap. <laughs> uh, but that, but this one is ninety nine cents. Apparently. <laughs> apparently if you really want to know that snake you gotta drop a buck on it so uh there you go snake snap on the ios store uh mobile snake identification fun snake facts i don't care about fun will it kill me this is this is the ultimate one right uh comparisons between commonly mistaken snakes is educational it's fun and educational and <laughs> and please don't kill me snake um <laughs> I'm just picturing you like trying to download it and either, you know, using re the, the face ID and it not getting a good, you know, I cannot read your face or you're like, what's my Apple ID password <laughs> as the snake's trying to like get closer to you. <laughs> Stay there, snake. I'm trying to identify you. <laughs> snake ID. <laughs> it's called run. It's whole COVID six feet. Into all new, yeah. It's six like, feet, snake. Six feet. If you have time, if you have time to take a picture, a clear picture of the snake to identify, uh, identify it. It may already be too late. <laughs> so it's called Run. <laughs> <gasps> That's what we call it. We will call the app Run. Run from it, snake. It'll encompass like all of the like deadly things in the world. <laughs> I and feel just, like I feel like this is an attempt for the hot dog not hot dog app. <laughs> <laughs> kill you not kill you app. What is the what is the snake identification app accidentally get used for? I'll let you use your imagination. Uh so But anyways, um 
Um, Silicon Valley. It, the, what? Just watch the entire four or five seasons to get the joke. Uh, but, <laughs> hey guys. Um, speaking of food items that can be identified, let's identify our sponsors over at Slice on Broadway. Our friends SliceOnBroadway dot com now at. Th- the four locations for the next couple of days. Uh, so uh, it was a big, I know everybody was sharing it this week. Slice on Broadway, of course, is uh, exiting the PNC Park, mostly because no fans are showing up uh, because they're not allowed to. So, uh, but still three great, great locations. And uh, there was a message from them on their site about uh, how they are looking. They are uh, um, exploring locations for another fourth location uh so um things are going strong there i saw rico we're talking podcasting at slice on probably tonight so i'm like are we slight are we are we starting to slice cast guys you know uh but supporting pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza our good friends down there supporting us for a good portion of the 10 years of the awesome cast and uh thank you everybody for supporting them i know i know my buddy riz was uh, uh riz plays games on twitter was sharing some experiences there uh, this past week about some uh, expertly handled customer service, for instance. Uh, so uh, thank you, everybody that's been uh, 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 out there and sharing your stories of hanging out with our friends at Slice on Broadway. So, uh, yeah, Jane, that was a great store, too. I've been in there two or, two or three times. The PNC really Park nice one? Place. Yeah. It was like it was nice to get like like Slice instead of like just the like standard baseball pizza right yes i so. completely agree yeah the, the 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 hey this resembles pizza you know kind of situation so and you didn't have to be in a game it was it was a nice setup because if oh yeah i went the two of the three times i went i was outside the stadium i don't think i was ever at a game i don't think i've been to a game since yeah. they opened <laughs> so but um some good stuff over there hey amanda narcissi uh was over on our facebook group for awesome cast and had uh some stuff that she wanted to share this week and uh, i'll probably need some help from the photo files here in the group um but dropping today but first since we're on the video game t- line this was uh, i believe this was this was brought up previously but is the uh the analog at uh the analog pocket uh at analog.co it's basically a game boy guys it's the old style like probably resembles like a, a game boy color but it's got the four buttons like you would get on a super nintendo or um i guess a no did the game boy advance have four buttons um i don't think it did but this will actually play the cartridges it's compatible with Game Boy, Game Boy Color, and Game Boy Advance library, and also works with cartridge adapters for other systems like Game Gear, Neo Geo, Pocket Color, Atari Lynx, and more. That is got my attention because I can't get a Game Gear to work to save my life these days. The screens keep going with them. You know, if anybody still, I mean, those LCDs. Uh, but that Game Boy, I'm saying, I was gonna say the original Game Boy is still going strong. But try to get your game gear to work. Like I, I actually got one from Chachi because the screen went on mine because I had just picked up a bunch of games um, and, and didn't realize that there was a problem. But then the sound is busted on his like unless you put the headphones in. It's like you know, it's one thing or the other with these things. Sega. I always had, I always had the problem on the the, the game gear with the power connector. Mm-hmm. Like the port would actually go bad inside the game gear, and I'd have to kind of like wrap the cord around the side of the thing to kind of keep it bent Um, yeah yeah. (laughs) but what is that device what is that thing on the bottom of this device is that like a dial-up modem (laughs) no that is um wait you're talking about let's say i'm gonna pull this up here this looks like this actually may be the um this is the the headphone jack for like an advance because they had a weird headphone jack on there i think but yeah, it does look oh. like it looks like kind of a a, a squeezed um, 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 Ethernet adapter, doesn't it? So, what's the pro uh, cost? Oh, it's a MIDI and sync cable. Oh, is it? Which I think. Yeah, I scrolled. I scrolled down the page and it said pocket to MIDI. Oh, USB. and there it is, hooked up to a soundboard and keyboard. Interesting. <laughs> um, probably for yeah, music creation and live performance. <laughs> Wow, that's probably so you can get your bit tunes going on, right? Wow, you can, you can do a lot with this. It has a has a um, yeah, it has an entire interface for uh for music on there. Um, let's see, MIDI, analog sync cable, pocket link cable, 
Uh, I'm looking for the price on this thing, actually. Yeah, that's, I but, keep scrolling. Man, I, th- 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 they got a lot of information. Everything looks so good on this thing, too. Oh, here you go. 200 bucks. 200 bucks. Okay. For considering everything, I'm curious about the adapters, too, if you can find that. But um, you can also use a dock to kick it up to an HD TV. You can use your um, 8-bit do Bluetooth, which I think, th- is that that adapter you have, maybe, Chilla? Or maybe one of the controllers for it. Yeah, I have the. Yeah, I have the. Where is it? It's right here. You can connect controllers directly to contru- to it um, um, via USB. Wow, this thing is this thing is nice. It looks like if Apple made a Game Boy. The adapters are thirty bucks a piece. So the Game Gear adapter is thirty. Oh, the Neo geez. Geo Pocket's thirty, and the Atari Lynx adapter is thirty. Oh, grab me this and a Game Gear adapter, and I'm going to town on this thing, and I'm buying every damn Game Gear game I can get my hands on. So, <laughs> did you see their store? No. So hold on one second. So under pre-order, go to pre-order and mm-hmm. start scrolling further down than the analog pocket. It's available in black and white. Okay. They, they sell <gasps> they sell like like Mega SG which plays Genesis. Sega Master System game cards. Like they sell systems. Yeah, they sell because well it's, so the big thing for the you know some people may be asking how are they doing this. Most of these the patents have expired on the original systems. So cuz notice that we're talking about these are Super Nintendo Genesis era things. Um, so like they can completely like, this is an emulation. This isn't anything else. Like this is, they, they rebuilt the hardware to, to use all the chips, to use, to use everything to natively use your old cartridges with it, which is nice because like, you know, who's tried to fix their original Nintendo entertainment system, right? Those things wear down after a while, but you still have the cartridges that are perfectly fine. So this is Hmm. Except for the battery in your Zelda. Yeah, the battery in your <laughs> Zelda. <laughs> Which a lot of these will also... Um, I don't know if these ones, but I've seen ones that have the battery backup is in the system. That they'll do save states, but those might be the ones with the emulators that I'm thinking too. So, yeah, these guys... Wow, Analog's got some cool stuff. How have I never heard of these guys other than like... They make, they make a Super company. Nintendo transparent. Yeah, I was just looking at that. <laughs> That's really neat. That's great. Um, oh, discontinued. Uh, is that... That's the thing. This is definitely a very boutique kind of thing, right? I was like, okay, $200 to play my old Tetris cartridge, right? To play, play, you know, th- those yeah, kinds of... Yeah, play your thing. old Tetris cartridge on your T- 4K TV? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. You know what? Bring it on. Bring it on. <laughs> yeah, these are all... But It'll be interesting to see because, like... I wonder what they did because these are all HDMI devices and even for the older analog, they have an analog DAC. Right. Mm. So they must be upscaling somehow. Mm. I don't know. Probably just like Nintendo kind of redid for the Nintendo Mini or whatever it was. Maybe they do something to make it look... Yeah, maybe they add add a little bit of smoothing to it or something. But, But I mean, that's something that can... I mean... It doesn't take as much hardware to do what it used to take an entire what was packed into a Game Boy, right? So you you have you can do more with a silicon for, per space. So you can put something in there that 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 does that processing on top of just playing my Tetris. So um Amanda also shared here. She got a new camera. It says a new sort of tech came, sort of new tech came today, which I think new to her. It was the Loom Loom Cube Mini Panel uh, for lighting. It's the size of a business card, but it has 60 LED lights, has adjustable shade and dimmer. Also has a light meter built in. Uh, comes with a mount for mobile devices, uh, um, mo- a mount for a mobile device tripod holder or a DSLR also can be handled for movement. So I don't know if you guys had a chance to look at this thing. Um, that's that's a nice, tiny, almost, I guess, pocketable uh, light that you can you can carry around. Probably perfect. I don't know what this is. I don't know what this is going to go. So I, I highly recommend the Loom Cube line. Mm-hmm. So I'll be interested to see what this 
Yeah, see how bright that is? Yeah, only $60. Keep... Oh, what, what are you doing there? We're blinded. So <laughs> this so this is a Loom. This is actually like the Loom Cube Cube. Okay. Um, and it kind of the same thing. It uh, has, a, has a mount. It's re This one's char rechargeable. Um, connects Bluetooth to your device. Uh, charges over USB, but it's the same kind of thing. And then they sell like diffusers and stuff. Um, works extremely well, and it's even magnetic. So um, you can pretty much get it to cling to anything to light up a, a podcast or whatnot. Nice, nice. Um, before we go to our first break, I wanted to bring up, so we had the Xbox Game Pass uh, event. Not an Xbox event, not an E3 event, not a, not, a, not a what's coming on the new system necessarily, but it was a Game Pass event that they had last week. And uh, that's, what, of course, why we had to have Kraus on since he's our Mac Microsoft guy. Um, we were talking about a little bit about subscriptions because now this all just plays into the regular subscription issue, doesn't it? And, of course, I'm still trying to uh, talk uh, Cynthia Klosky into uh, subscribing to Game Pass <laughs> and maybe xCloud after, after talking last week. Uh, Kraus, what, what, so explain, explain what Microsoft's doing and, and what kind of came out of last week. Well... They basically came on and talked for an hour, mm -hmm. and basically every single game that was shown would would be available day and date on Game Pass. Mm -hmm. So if you're a Game Pass subscriber, everything that they showed during this event is going to be available you, to you to play with that $15 a month subscription. And we're talking the likes of Halo and what? How many new IPs were there? Oh, there were geez, at least so many, seven, eight yeah. new IPs. You know, so it, it's it's they're making quite a statement when it comes to where they see their future. I believe. I include some old ones like uh, Fantasy Star Online Two. There was an expansion announced for that. Uh, Forza Fable supposed to be coming back. Uh, in 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 the majority of these, and and I'm guessing the ones that don't. Hey, there's Tetris bringing it back around. There's Tetris guys. Tetris Effect was on here. Destiny um, is on that list. Destiny has uh, all the Destiny, like all the expansion packs are coming to Game Pass. Apparently, State of Decay uh, three is going to be part of this, which is a big franchise. Another Warhammer game. Uh, so it, it's and and I love, I love the odd <laughs> Psychonauts two with Jack Black being part of it. Um, I, I love just kind of the the wild new IP that seems to pop up in a lot of these. I would agree. I, you know, and I don't know if this is... It was weird because a lot of people going into this event expected it to be something to sell the Xbox, the new console. Mm -hmm. But like you, I believe it was more to say, hey, um, Game Pass is no joke and this is where I believe this is where they're going. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. and, and we've talked about the pre-show how um, quietly Microsoft has removed the 12 month um, Xbox live askew from their store. So, you know, I, I think where they're going to go is maybe there will be a change in pricing or something, but I think something's going to happen with the one X release where, it's going to be Game Pass all the time, kind of thing. Yeah, or at least at least like moving towards it. Like if you want to buy your games, you can buy right. your games. But why would I drop sixty dollars for Halo Infinite when I can drop fifteen bucks a month and play it for exactly. two months? Right. Uh, My issue though is, and we've talked about this before. I keep going back to Call of Duty. I'm one of those people <laughs> where I play a game and I play a game and I play a game mm -hmm. and I keep playing a game. Although I guess maybe my mindset will need to change where mm -hmm. I have to look at it as, you know, I'm not paying to play certain games. I'm paying to play all the games. Yeah. You know what I mean? I, I, and, and that's maybe where my mind has to change a little bit. And, 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 and most of these games um, were labeled again. And some of them I think were intended for later because they, they've made the announcement that the first two years, anything that comes out will play on Xbox One as well as the X, uh, Series X. So you do right. not, generally, and some of these didn't have that listing, but again, I think there are a couple. When you saw the the, the Fable uh, trailer, there's not much to it. That thing's not coming out for at least two years. Um, no. But everything says at least Series X and PC, if not also just Xbox One. 
So like already grounded was one that they showed on this and, uh, and, uh, uh, tell me why, which is an ep- episodic uh, mystery kind of thing that they they're doing. Um, I already have those downloading on my, <laughs> on my Xbox uh, from yeah, Game Pass. Uh, the the pre like either a game preview or the pre files for when it when it drops here in a couple of weeks, um, which is just just crazy. Like there's no wait for this. Like here, this is something we showed you, and here it is on your Xbox like the next day. Um, like that that is different than what Sony's doing, what Nintendo's doing. You know, although it seemed like didn't Paper Mario come out like out of nowhere? It seemed like people were reviewing it like the next week after I heard about it. Um, but you know, it, it it's they really seem to be positioning, aren't they, for like a Netflix of games, and then throw an X Cloud, and it's really become so device agnostic at this point. I I completely agree, and I, and I've, I've I've said before I don't know if I said it on the podcast or not, but I know John and I have talked about it at the moment. I really don't think I'm buying the new hardware no. on day and date. I think I'm going to wait for at least a year and see if the price drops a little bit. Because quite honestly, all of the games that I want to play are still going to play on the console I already own. Mm-hmm. And where I play my games, you know, I don't have a 4K monitor or anything. So I'm not going to gain any added benefits from that. So why spend the money? And supposedly... There's supposed to be going. There's supposed to be a version of, I guess, the Series X that's not going to be 4K. Yeah, there is. Yeah, there. Th- that they keep speculating on that too. Did you see the controller photo this today? Yeah, was, I, I saw that floating around. It's got that yeah, um, white controller. It's got that uh, Steam controller kind of uh, thumb pad to it, doesn't it? So. Yeah, I think that's the, one of the thumb pads that was on the. Um, what's that? higher uh cost controller that you can buy for the xbox the like, pro series or is or, it the elite it's the elite, it's the elite. elite. Yeah. that's it i think that was that looked more like one of the elite options you know because yeah. those buttons pulled off and you could change them out with an, that was one of the options i believe yeah. on the elite controller uh, chilla you're somebody who's dancing between all three <laughs> three platforms at this point probably uh the, the, what did the the game pass announcement kind of do for you last week because i'm uh, I, i'm i'm not i'm not going to lie i'm i'm nervous that mm-hmm. like game Cat pass is going to be the main point of view for everything and the way i play games I just, I, I don't, at this point in time, Game Pass is overpriced for the way I play and because I right. go between consoles. I also remember, it's, um, it's only $10 if you're just Xbox One, right? It's only $10 per... 10 bucks a month. Yeah. 10 bucks a month. 15 yeah. is if you also do the PC games. Yeah, but I pay, I pay 60 a year for live. Right, mm-hmm. for live, yeah. And then I buy my games as needed. So I guess, it, and I, I would say I honestly don't. Well, you would be, I, wait, wait, you're already paying $60 a year. Yeah. A Game Pass subscription is like $120 a year. 120 and You get so more. You twice get, as much. And you get so more. Twice as much. And you get more than the five games that are included with gold. But, but I don't, like, I'll be honest with you, like, I, I, I pro, I've probably bought a game this year right. two games right. since christmas i've bought two games i bought the jedi game from ea mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and okay. i bought and i bought um the new uh, minecraft dungeons okay so how much like was, it's, how, how much was minecraft dungeons i think i got the uh, like elite version or whatever the hero edition okay and I think it was like thirty nine. Okay. Okay. It wasn't. It wasn't like a normal sixty dollar game. So you're close. You're getting. I see where you're going. So he's getting closer to Game Pass. Yeah, I'm wasn't closer, that included. But it it all depends on. Then I'm worried. Like by the time I get to finish the game, am I going to have to go buy it? Because I still haven't even uh, finished the Star Wars game. I don't think you have oh, to worry. You don't think you have to worry about Microsoft games. I don't have. You're right. I don't have to. So. Based on the Halo stuff, it might be worth it in the first. Mm-hmm. I got to tell you, man, I uh, I got to play Halo 5 on this thing. I got to play Minecraft. Uh, Streets of Rage 4 drop day and date. Uh, like, it's all right. Just for being able to jump into games like that, it's... If, 
it's it's really nice. I'm playing Red Dead Redemption 2. I was in no hurry to buy Red Dead Redemption 2. This is still like a $40, $50 game. And uh, it came out like, what, 2018? And it's just like, yeah, I'll play some Red Dead Redemption 2 for a while while this is on here. You know, like it's it's kind of kind of nice for that. Now, would you be more interested when the cloud gaming comes in? Yes. Because mm-hmm. I feel like if I can play it on the couch, mm-hmm. I probably you can get more game time. I can get more game time. <laughs> right. <laughs> there it's it the goes. Work time quit, interf- quit interfering. There you go. Well, that's all you there, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Katie, but, uh, oh, go, yeah. Katie uh, I, I know you're, you're a switcher uh, yourself. <laughs> Um, but, but, and you actually, you already participate in something similar because you, you do the Nintendo online with all the classic mm-hmm. games they have in there. I mean, different, it's a different type of thing, but, but it's relatable. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, I'm just, I, yeah. I, cause I just, I bought, I just bought Minecraft on here. Ooh. Oh, wait, is it cross play? Can we play against each other or with yes, each you other? Can. Yeah, you can. Oh, yeah. we need a Minecraft night. Katie, we got it. We, we need to just all yeah. do a Minecraft night. <laughs> so. But yes, but I've, anyways. I've expanded slightly beyond my. Uh huh. <laughs> now, what does that what does that service cost a month, or is it a yearly fee? I think it's like what twenty twelve dollars. Oh, I thought it was twelve for a single. I thought it was like for for the yearly thing. I thought it was twenty yeah. a year. I, I thought it was twenty a year. Mm-hmm. Because oh wow, twenty yeah, bucks I, a year. That's a, that's a so, deal. Yeah. yeah. Now you're like making me double check it. But also, no, the... I screwed it up. Oh, right. sorry. Go ahead. No, no, you go ahead. No, I screwed it up. Um, <laughs> I uh, I didn't. Well, I did it in the beginning. Yeah, it's three ninety nine a month, seven ninety nine for three months, and then twenty bucks for a year. But if you have a family plan, it's thirty five dollars. Mm-hmm. I must have got a deal because, and, and I'm seeing one like on eBay. I'm wondering if I got mine off of Amazon and someone was like reselling their code. Mm. Because uh, I, got, I got, I think I got mine for twelve bucks, and I see one on eBay here for twelve bucks. But you also were in there early, so you might have yeah, gotten I, some, yeah, some preliminary kind of things. But so, so Katie, like, so you're, you're, already, I mean, obviously twenty bucks versus like hundred and twenty for, for, you know, the Nintendo games versus versus Halo. Um, like, th- does that kind of open that up? Like, if you're able to play Xbox games on your phone here coming up. Uh, you know, to kind of uh, uh, grow into a, a bigger Netflix uh, for games. I think I think so because like one of my issues is is I I hate buy like I am very excited when people start playing a game and they start talking about a game like Red Dead Red Dead Redemption was a good one mm-hmm. and everybody was like this is an awesome game and I'm like I can't devote the time to make it the whole way through but I want to check it out yeah but I don't want to spend the money and then you just have these games and you know the resale value is crap on all this stuff anymore still well still and it's just it's less of a commitment and I would be more interested to play other games if it didn't cost me you know so much money to do so and like give these things a shot versus you know especially when they're out and you're like oh wait I can talk, I, have, I can participate in these conversations with my friends <laughs> <laughs> I, I tell you what, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't even bother with Minecraft Dungeons if it wasn't for Game Pass at this point. No matter how much Chilla told me about it, <laughs> so. I'm, I'm really enjoying it. Mm. I even got like the downloadable content. And stuff, yeah. Oh, really? Which I'm sure I'm guessing you get for free with the. I guess Game maybe I don't know. It's weird because I th- sometimes I think they give you certain things because so that like I noticed this with gold. Half the stuff you get with gold for like those free games of the month. There's probably an expansion pack <laughs> for you to purchase as well. well. Yeah, that's the old story. Here's a taste. The first yeah. taste. Is well, free. it's not just a taste because it's like here's the entire main game. But if you want to the good stuff. But if you want the classic Tekken Seven whatevers, you know you got to go pay some money for it, right? But so how, then, now how does that work? So now, now then you find yourself not with Minecraft because Microsoft, but then you find yourself. Hey, I paid for the expansions. This game just left X uh, Game Pass, but they give you a good discount when it leaves. So it's not you know if you're like ah, I didn't I I need to finish Red Dead Redemption. Oh, it's only twenty dollars. All right, you know I, I'll pay that for that. And you only get that because you have Game Pass. You don't get that deep of a discount. I don't think you know otherwise. It's just like there's always been sales for gold. You know, I mean, I don't know how many games I've cleaned up on and added my collection uh, randomly because of the gold discount. So, 
It's like it all works out in the end, and you're still giving them money, <laughs> and that's the point, right? Um, it's it's my uh, you know one 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 show I was listening to was saying like Microsoft's been moving to services. They're doing the Xbox what they did with like uh, Office, right? Be, we we pay ten bucks a month for Office, right? We pay ungodly amounts for Adobe every month, and then throwing ten or fifteen bucks at your just so you can game whenever you want. Makes sense too, in the long run. So versus how much more do you think um, the X Cloud's going to cost? I think it's going to be the same. I think it's going to be. I think I think it's included with Ultimate. Wow. I you think, think I, gonna be I think you're going to have to get Ultimate. I don't think you're going to be able to get. I think they've said it will be included at no additional charge. I the think Ultimate, not just to like because it's the Xbox is. If you just do Game Pass with Xbox, right? That's. Mm-hmm. Ten bucks a month. Ten yeah. bucks. I think it's at the fifteen dollar level. Yeah, the way they get you is, like, hey, sp- spend a dollar for the first month of your <laughs> ultimate. And we're like, okay, wait, now these games play on my laptop. Oh well. <laughs> yeah. Um, but I don't know. It's it's it's. I, I'm excited. I'm excited because I don't need Buy to drop some new hardware. I'm excited because I don't need to drop five hundred bucks to continue playing. You know, and I mean, but knock on wood. I have an original Xbox that was pre-owned. <laughs> if anything happens, I won't feel bad about dropping 300 bucks on a new one. Maybe not the best, right? It be, it the Xboxes have turned into iPhones in the long run and this 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 adds to it. All right, let's get a couple other stories here uh before we roll out of here. Chilla, Movies Anywhere Watch Party? So just yeah, so Movies Any Movies Anywhere, you can invite up to nine people to is, watch a movie with you. Is this still in beta? Like, I, you, you had to have like you had to get other people in beta and then invite them. Like, I sent out in, in, invites and then got nothing. Is this is this full on right now? I thought it was from what I was looking at. It was full on. Looks like it is now. Yeah, like it's gone mainstream. Maybe they they sped it up because of the pandemic. Probably, but I I just thought it was cool because like. You, it's not like you're going to meet up with your friends to go to the movie theater, but you could, mm-hmm. as long as it's on movies anywhere, you could get everyone together. And to me, it reminds me of the old days of Xbox 360. And the remember, you could watch the Netflix together. Watch parties, yeah, that yeah, was yeah. awesome. Yeah. So and, know, it seems like it would be kind of fun and not quite as sketchy as the uh, the other ways to uh, do things. So yeah, the, so it, to me, this definitely feels official. So this is like I can okay I own Wonder Woman which I do, uh, and uh, I, I'm like hey guys let's watch some Wonder Woman and it looks like you send it in a message and they type in a code and that unlocks it on their side as well. Um, oh Screen Pass which is still an open beta so it it is still rocking an open beta but it looks like that looks a little more to it than I love everything every time one of these pops no, no, up it's, so. so Movies Anywhere app is free, but all watch to get. Oh, yeah, but under so the video. we would all have to own the movie, would or we? we would have to get it via Screen Pass. So you don't have to be a Screen Pass person. Mm-hmm. If you and I both, which we do, we both own Wonder Woman, we could watch together. Okay, Screen Pass itself is an open beta, but yes. if we both watch have Wonder Woman, which we both should. <laughs> Everybody should. Everybody should. Let's be honest about this. And, and if you sign up early on, you got Big Hero 8 for free. So we probably both have Big that, Hero, or that, Big Hero that, 6. That Big Hero 6, thank you. Sorry. Jeez. So, so we probably both have Big Hero 6, one of the Bourne Which, movies, well, Ghostbusters. Well, I, I, I already own Big Hero 6, uh, <laughs> <laughs> honestly. So if anybody wants to, wants to screen, uh, movie pass with me, or movie pass? No, that's, that's the other thing. No, <laughs> the movie's anywhere with me. Anything DC or Marvel or Ninja Turtles, I got it. I'm just just throwing that out there. Okay, but what's the point? But I don't know. Having to have everybody own the movie doesn't that kind of defeat the purpose? Well, that's why there's the other version too. There, there's the other version too that gives the limited a bit. Like that's kind of like Hoopla uh, uh, borrowing movies, right? So like that. You're, you're, you, you can't like go take your code and run off with a copy of Wonder Woman, right? Right. Yeah. 
But also, but like, I can't I can't who, be like who, who I can't be like Ewok this is the problem I've been having because I've been like, hey, can somebody come over and watch this weird Ewok movie with me from the eighties? And I can't get anybody to do it because it's on DVD. And <laughs> so I'm like, damn it, I'm just gonna watch this myself now, because <laughs> we're stuck. And uh, and uh, but now now you can do that. Now I need to need to. I would watch a Ewok movie with Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. But I can't do it because yeah, I, <laughs> but we can't do it because we're social distancing. So uh or or we were setting up to do something before some other stuff went, and there's this weird wrestling show that MTV had in like the late two thousands. And we both bought one of the last three copies of the entire series on DVD off of Amazon so we could watch it together. <laughs> <laughs> and then it fell apart. So now we just both own this DVD for no good reason at all. <laughs> so <laughs> these are the kinds of problems you have. So let's watch Wonder Woman sometime this week. As an example in the article, that's why it keeps coming up. Um, anything else to touch before we get out here? I know we had a lot of stories. This is a good week for stories in general. There's a lot of good stuff. Doom in the uh, in Doom in your Minecraft. Apparently, there's a full-on DOS box emulator. You can walk up to a computer and play Doom, amongst other things. Chill, you're gonna try that. I, but I was wondering, does it? I'm guessing you have to be like the Java edition. I'm guessing oh, this I doesn't work on like the iPad and Xbox version. I didn't catch that. Yeah. Come on, Chili, you can hack it. <laughs> I want to watch. I want to watch that show. Can Chilla hack it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. Anything else? Uh, oh, well, I, I was just catching a couple of good. I love this one. The NBA will use vir- Microsoft Teams to virtually seat fans courtside on large seventeen foot displays. Seventeen foot? That seems like a lot. Oh, I guess it's one big seventeen foot display, and everybody's face pops up, right? Sounds yeah, like a that's Zoom from call. That, that new Zoom uh, feature where it shows like a room full of heads. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, you know what I mean? It's like oh, I forget what they call it. Oh, this um, is okay. So this is this is the together mode that I saw the video for yeah, in here. Like, yeah, like yeah, I, I got in here because I'm like, what is this thing? So it puts everybody in like a library or on, you know seated behind desks and stuff. Is this how this works? Have you tried this thing? I have not tried it, but I saw I watched the video in in this um, clip, and it shows it's everybody strange. like kind of in a library, like a library or, con- or um, conference room, like a stadium seating conference room, Jeez. and puts all the people in there. It's kind of interesting. I, to, I you know, good for the NBA. They put everybody in a bubble, and and they're trying a lot of different stuff around. This. Seriously, can you imagine how much money that's costing? to take all those teams and socially distance them all. Compared to what they're getting from all the contracts on television. Yeah. Everything is fine. Everything is fine. Um, They're doing better than baseball. So, or at least the Marlins. So, um, Ron Krause, thank you for joining us again and talking. Anytime. Happy to be here. Talking the Xbox and talking betas with us um oh by the way xbox news I, I i joined the insider program nice just so i can stream from my xbox to my android phone <laughs> yes because i'm like well assassin's creed isn't on my list for sex cloud what can i do about this and i did something about it so i hope i don't break anything with this thing but this it seems pretty it, it doesn't yeah. look like they're i'm not in like an alpha thing or anything like that so Mm-mm. uh crazy cross on the twitter Yep, that's me. Uh, Katie? Mm -hmm. Has stuff going on on Animal Crossing? Oh, no, we got a thing on uh, Thursday. Thursday. Yeah, I misspoke because I was was plugging last Thursday and I had had the week wrong. Yeah, the 30th um, there, uh, my uh, friend PB Smooth and uh, Derek Direction are participating in the Airbike Derby where they raised hold, money. Hold that up there. Oh. The, 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 those two are are display, displayed on the show on the on the shirt. Yeah. Yeah, there's yep. PB, there's me, there's Derek on his little bike. Uh, <laughs> but that's my shirt. And um yeah, so they raised money on uh, the GoFundMe for me and essentially the the original plan was for every $10, they rode for 20 seconds on their air bikes and they raised a lot of money. 
And so it sounds like the event is being broken up over several days mm -hmm. <laughs> with, mm -hmm. with July 30th uh, being the first one. I'm not sure at the time, but it will be on Instagram uh, live. I believe. It's an attempt not to create another medical emergency while yeah. fixing someone's medical emergency in the meantime. <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> So yeah, so it'll, it'll be fun. I'm excited to watch and hopefully they don't, you know, they survive. <laughs> Looking forward to that. That's this Thursday night. I think they're, they're, they kick off like 6.30, 7 o'clock, something like that. I'm not sure. <laughs> so you will follow their social media. It's PB Smooth, Derek Direction. Look them up on the Instagram, I believe it's going to yeah, be. So on the Instagrams. Yep, yep. It'll be something. It will be something. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of sweat. A lot of sweat. A lot of sweaty people. You're into people. sweaty men yes. riding bikes. I just... I keep getting stuck. Like I'm reading a tweet and then below it is just like PB's chest flexing. And I'm like, and this happened to me like three times in one night. I'm like, what the hell is happening to my Twitter feed right now? Mm -hmm. It just, 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 just PB's man pecs uh, all over the place. But um, anyways, Chilla, segue. Chilla, what are you up to? <laughs> I'm now down this like rabbit hole of Minecraft plugins and <laughs> mods you thank go. you guys very much I've, I've now found star wars mod packs wow yeah now He's, now i'm gonna have all new well, stuff to make to, sure make sure you tweet about it at chill on the twitter yes definitely <laughs> oh and there's a skyblock section <laughs> <laughs> and we'll leave him to his own devices now that we've we've done that guys thank you so much uh, at Sorgatron on the Twitter, I've been sharing a lot of things over the last uh, uh, bits as well um, to to make the funny and educate. You can see my dog uh, uh, with the, the whipped cream pup cup from the Starbucks today. <laughs> <laughs> it was great. Um, thank you, TikTok, for the music. Um, anyways, uh, thank you, everybody. Whoop, that's the wrong button. Uh, thank you, everybody uh, in the chat room. I know uh, Carmen and Podner and uh, and my mom and a bunch of other people were there throughout the evening. Uh, you guys again join us 7 p.m. Eastern time across all the awesome cast social medias. We'll see you guys next time. You've been our awesome audience. Have an awesome week. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.